make a little uh, quick video here. I got a lot of uh, a lot of folks asking me, you know, quite a few folks asking me what motor mounts I'm using when I did the uh, five three swap in the olds. Now this is a real quick video. I don't want to get to the meat and potatoes of it. Everybody knows this is a small block Chevy clamshell motor mount. They make two styles of motor mount. Beware of that. For the cars, this is a car mount. You need the car mount. If I can keep it up without making a whole bunch of racket. I'm trying to use the uh, ruler here, or my tape measure here as a reference. The truck mounts they look very similar, but they're a bit fatter. Like the hole here, from the hole here to the back, you're looking probably another half inch or so. It won't work in the car. Another thing is, most of this, if you use this style of mount, see this raised area here, this U or a V or what the hell ever you call it, this raised boss, this needs to be ground down. You need to use a grinder or a big belt sander, you need to grind it almost flush. Because the style of motor plate, it will not sit flush on the back of the clamshell. Uh, my buddy Kubi up in New York made me these mounts. Thank God he's a CNC machinist, water burner or whatever. This was a standard uh, frame pad or from motor mount. This bolts to the LS block. This bolts right to the block, and the one for the G bodies or other common Chevy vehicles, it needs to be half inch setback, meaning this mount is actually going to be longer. This is the standard one. I have the. Uh, the other one's in my car. See, here's your three holes. You're going to be using one, two, three for the clamshell. And then one, two, three, four gets bolted to the LS. In a situation where the motor's going to be set back, this it would be sitting something like this. That's why uh, the setback ones are just a hair longer. See what I'm saying? Here's standard, and you go like this. It sets the motor back a half inch. That's what you need to keep the engine and transmission, or I should say, I'm sorry, the transmission in stock location without cross member or um, drive shaft modifications. So, I don't want to make this video too long. I just want to get to the meat and potatoes of it. Like I said, just trying to keep it, you know, trying to keep your attention here. This is a very common motor mount, very cheap. If you want specifications, if you want to buy some, let me know. I will get them for you, or I can provide you the information as to where you can find them. Alrighty, appreciate you guys watching. Laters.